Hello YouTube, it is Ben here with an update on Juvihap Nation. I haven't posted anything on this tank for a while and there have certainly been some changes and here's an update. Uh, first of all I used um, some fish vendors and picked up a three Didychromis Strigatus. There's one of them right there. There are three of them in here. I'm expecting one of them will be a male. And um, I also used uh, Live Fish Direct, had a $15 sale. So I picked up some. Uh, Actually, I believe, I think I got the live, from Live Fish Direct, I picked up the, uh, the ditties, of which this is one right here. And I also picked up, apart from the Diddy Chromis Strigatus, I picked up three eye biters in the hope that I will get one good male. So there are three eye biters in here, three Didiochromis strigatus, and um, also three Malawi gars. You can see them right here. Very cute. Love the little snout on the uh, Malawi gars. They're in quarantine for about a week or so, and um, Normally I would have left them out there for a couple of weeks, but the temperatures have been so high here that even with running a fan over the tank, the tank was getting a little bit warm. Now this Diddy here, Diddy Acromus, is already showing some color and egg spots. So high hopes for that one. If you're very observant and you've been following my uh, Juvie Hap Nation tan um, Juvie Hap Nation updates, you'll also notice that there that some fish are missing from this tank. They've uh, graduated to the 135. I'll show you who those are. The dolphin is doing really well. He might be going over pretty soon. This is a dominant male dolphin. And I also have, um, of course, the, the super red empresses. They just, I just need them to get a little more size before I feel comfortable in moving them over. Some of the more aggressive haps, like you'll see in a minute, like the um, Fusco, are a little, uh, a little easier to transfer over when they're not not very large because they can hold their own. Like a living stony or a polystigma. And I'll show you those guys. But I want the uh, I certainly want the super red empresses to uh, be a little bit bigger, and then I'll uh, I'll take them over because they're not they're not quite as aggressive and don't really hold their own the way something like a VC-10 would or a Venusus. So, additions to this tank, the eye biters, the Diddy, Diddy Chromis Trigatus, and the Gars. Here's how they, um, here's how I'm hoping they end up looking. As you can see, those three fish, assuming I get some nice males, which there's no reason why I shouldn't, are beautiful. So I am, I've got high hopes. So here in the 135, things are looking good. 
as you can see. And um, I brought over the Venusus, the biggest of the Venusus that I had. He has a little bit of a yellow blaze on his forehead. And um, he was the biggest and the most aggressive, so I'm assuming that uh, he might end up being a male. I'm hoping. I have the other Venusus as backups, of course. The uh, Livingstoning, doing great. And if you look back there, you'll see the Fusco. Fusco is holding his own. He was brought over last night. Nobody's messing with him. Here's the little Intermedius. Still very colored down because he's living in the uh, shadow of this giant here, the tank boss. Just a beautiful specimen. Definitely not camera shy. The polystigma was brought over a little while ago. It's looking great. I'm seeing little flecks of blue and green in the polystigma. Not sure if you can see it. Some egg spots in the anal fin. I think it's going to be very pretty. BC 10s looking good. They're holding their own. Nobody really messes with them. And of course, there's two of those. And also, I brought over the, uh, the Linny. You can see him up here, just above the uh, dorsal there. He's a real success story because at one point I really thought he wasn't going to make it. And I took him over to a quarantine tank and treated him with some general cure and he made a comeback. Very happy for that because he is a very, very cool fish. Doesn't really bother anybody. Just kind of keeps to his own. two BC 10s. So that's the update. Fish are graduating and coming over to the 135. New fish are going to be uh, being developed in the Juvie Hapnation tank. I suspect the Didiochromus strigatus, I believe one of those will be coming over here pretty quickly. It already has some good size. I believe it was um, Live Fish Direct. I'm supposed to send me a couple two inch fish. I mean, they came in bigger than two inches. I love it when you uh, order something from somebody and they exceed expectations. And that's what uh, that's what happened with that order. Add to that the fact that I got the uh, Tank Talk discount, and I got the uh, fifteen dollar flat overnight shipping. So I got a tremendous deal from Live Fish Direct on the three uh, Didiochromis strigatus. Okay, that's the update on the tanks. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, you are very appreciated, and thank you for supporting the channel. We're very close to 5,000, and uh, yeah, I'm a little crazy about that guy. Uh, the living stone, I tried to mess with him there. Eventually, this fish will be a handful. All right. Thank you so much.